Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my life and journey with my plants. Thank you guys so much for all your comments in my previous video. You guys were kind of watching me check my phone as my dad came back into Vancouver after being away in China for over a year and a half and he is home now. And he already got his booster shot and he's tested negative so we've already saw him i we went to his house and like yeah it was it's just really amazing to to see him again i can't wait to go see my grandmas in taiwan i have two grandmas in taiwan one of them is like 93 years old and the other one is over 80 so i really want to go see them but the it's just really hard in taiwan their restrictions are really 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 tight and we we can't afford to be quarantined for so long, so we still have to wait a little bit longer before that could happen. Um, yeah, but I'm just so happy. So thank you guys. Um, it, today's video is the last top 10 Hoya video of the year, guys. Can you believe it? I'm actually not sure if I'm gonna continue to do the top 10 Hoya video in the next year. I have to see how things go. But to be honest with you guys, this month, I have been feeling a little bit kind of let down by Hoyas. Well, I shouldn't say that. I know that my house gets really, really cold during this season. And Hoyas need a little bit of warmer climate to grow. So I just kind of have been like taking care of these Hoyas and a lot, most of them are not growing. And I have dealt with quite a few root rods and it just has been a little bit discouraging to uh, to experience because you know I love them so much and I kind of feel like I'm pouring them so much love and I'm not um, seeing any progress. Maybe, maybe it's a lesson in itself um, of patience and acceptance. Um, but, but yeah, I just haven't been super excited about my Hoya. So, I wish I was in like a more, I have more like showy, exciting growth to show you guys in this video to like end the year. But, but still, we have quite a few cuties here and they are super adorable and they do bring me so much joy. So why don't we just get started? I actually think I brought, a, as usual, like one more Hoya. So the ho first Hoya I'm going to show you because um, it's a little bit harder for me to say its name. So I'm just going to get it over with as like I have it on the screen. Um, this one, oh, so funny, I have the tag here. Hoya Cistiana, no, Hoya Cistiantha Splash. It's this guy. Um, the lighting is a little bit strange. I'm kind of like trying something out. Here I have like a grow light set up with my shirt over it to see if it could bring like more kind of sunlight exposure into the space. So it might be a little bit weird today. But anyway, so this Hoya was my most recent import. I think it came in in like late October, so it was really cold and it was super papery. So I wasn't sure if it was gonna make it because this Hoya is already like a kind of thin leaf Hoya to begin with. Um, but I think it's, um, and it was like, it came in super like light color. So I was a little bit worried about it, but I feel like the color has darkened a little bit. And, um, I can see the splashes like a lot better now. And the leaves are a little bit firmer. I'm not, I'm actually not seeing any roots in here. So I'm not sure how things are going like down there, but as a plant, it's much more like standing stronger and firmer and darker in color. So all these are good signs. So I'm really happy with this one. I think it's really, really gorgeous and it's been on my wish list for a really long time. So I'm glad that I think this one is staying. This leaf is the prettiest, I think. So that's the first one, super gorgeous. The second one I want to show you, I think I just showed you guys this one recently too. This is my Hoya Batonier that I got from the Hoya shop when they sponsored a video for me to do an unboxing for them. And I really adore this Hoya, but you know, very typical of me. I gave it root rot and then it had to re-root for a really long time. And it was just like really wrinkly for a really long time and then it plumped up. And recently it's gotten like, I get even like cuter tan, I think. And I just think it looks really cute. And this is the Hoya Batonier. It's just like super adorable 
little round leaves. I don't know, maybe because of the lighting, the focus is being kind of weird. But yeah, I really, really like this one. So pretty. And the next one I want to show you guys, I also brought this one over because of the tan. Um, it hasn't really started growing, but it has acclimated really well. I also imported this one um, and the leaves are really firm and really healthy, which I feel like I'm not asking for much anymore from Hoyas. Like you don't have to grow, just don't have root rot or stem rot, just stay alive for me. <laughs> um, this is the Hoya Benchai. It's a little bit harder to see, there you go. It's really, really red and really, really beautiful. It took it a little while to get like this color, but I think it's really gorgeous. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this one because of the tan. There you go. The next one I want to show you also is a Hoya that I just find it super beautiful. I got this from North Shore Tropical and um, I, I don't think it's even like super rooted yet, but it's um, here. This is the Hoya AH032. There you go. And it has like started working on this little vine. So it is growing. So I think it should be rooted. I can't really see it on the side of the pot just yet, but it's just such a meaty, beautiful, like gorgeous Hoya. Um, yeah, I really like this one. I kind of, uh, this reminds me, I was going to bring my Hoya prick tie over. Maybe I'll just include a footage of it at the end of the video because it's so gorgeous. And I wanted to show you guys that one too because I love it so much. The new leaf is so big and shiny and glossy and gorgeous. Anyways, so yeah, that's that one. And then the next one I want to show you that is like bringing me so much joy right now is this Hoya Hushkaliana yellow. And the reason why it's made the list again is because it is blooming yet again, but it's not focusing. Whoops, don't look at my face. There you go. It's just like a super dainty little flower. Mm. It's, and it smells so good. Every time, so this Hoya blooms really, really like frequently. And um, every time it blooms, the whole cabinet just smells like a dessert, like a bakery cabinet. It has this like caramelly, buttery um, smell to it. It's really delicious smelling like, yeah, like a dessert. And obviously like these little, all these, these are like little new leaves. They're just so round and supple. Um, look at these little, little leaves. And they're just so cute. I don't know why um, these two new leaves grew to be super like wonky. Maybe I didn't water it um, in time for it to, I don't know, like grow properly. But anyways, as a Hoya as a whole, I think it's super cute and I really, really love it. There's that one. And the next one I want to show you guys, it, um, it's a gift from my brother, Tony, and it's the Hoya Waliniana. Yeah, Hoya Waliniana. Is it UT152? I forget. Um, so this is the Hoya. And so I find this Hoya expresses itself so differently when the environment is different. Like these are the leaves that grew in his care. And then this, this leaf grew in my care. Isn't it? Aren't they so different? And the color's different too. Like I have another leaf that grew in my care. It's so much smaller and redder. <laughs> um, and it's got like a few more leaves that it's working on. So, yeah, because, you know, not many things are growing, not many Hoyas are growing at the moment. So I especially appreciate this guy for putting out new growth. The next one I want to show you, also you guys have seen it quite a few times, but it's super beautiful. And the last time that it was on my top 10 list, I was like saying that it's taking a break, it's not growing, but it's actually because it has so much root rot. Um, so then I, chopped off all the like dead roots and then 
actually took another cutting and then I'm, I have rerouted all of them back into pond. So this is, sorry, this is the Hoya New Guinea Ghost. It's got that super beautiful, like pink lavender tan. And now there are three cuttings in there and they have rooted. I find that at this stage when the roots are like first started to grow, um, they're particularly prone to root rot. So yeah, I don't know. There you go, there's another root here, but yeah, it's just a super adorable, beautiful Hoya. So showing that one to you guys again. And the next one I want to show you is my Hoya for Betsy Eye. Um, it is also a new import back in the middle of September. Um, and it was really like papery. And um, so this is a Hoya for Betsy Eye. I really love this one. I, I love the dark color. Um, and the venation and the leaf shape. This is the most recent new leaf that it's put out. Is it focusing? So pretty. Yeah, this new leaf has been still a little bit soft, so it, it's been working uh, on growing for, I think, at least a week now. It's, uh, yeah, it's really, really beautiful. And like the whole planet, just like the shape and the color, it's really amazing. And it's got this long vine that it's working on. The next one I want to show you is this little, ee, I don't remember, this is a Hoya Finlaysonia, I think from my friend um, Maya. Maya, if you're watching, can you remind me again like who this guy is? <laughs> I can't believe I, I forgot her name again. Um, but I think it's a type of Hoya Finlaysonia, maybe Esta? Super beautiful, and it's been a two-leaf plant for since the summer, and like finally, look guys, it has this little new baby leaf. It's not focusing. Maybe I'll take another footage of it to put in the video. But yeah, I'm so happy that it's growing a new leaf, especially right now, like I mentioned, just nothing is growing. So cute. Is that one? Uh, and like in the same batch that Maya shipped to me, she also uh, gifted me this Hoya. It has been one of my favorites since she shipped it to me. It just has this like simple elegance. And I think this is called Hoya Pubic Helix Bright, Bright One. And I don't know, I just think it's so elegant and so beautiful. Isn't that? Um, Hers is like darker and glossier. Um, and I think she said that it was tanning, so she moved it away from super bright light. Um, I have decreased the amount of light I'm ex exposing it to, so hopefully it'll get darker again. And like, and the mother plant that she has is so splashy and so gorgeous. And I could see a little bit of like new growth points um, on both sets of leaves like a little new growth point here and then another little new growth point like in here so yeah i'm really excited to grow this one i have been really enjoying having it in my care i want to show you this one also the uh, new import from september so those hoyas it's been three months and they have started most of them have started to put out new growth so that's to me that's pretty good um this is the hoya golden eye uh, when it was first imported it was like one cutting so I took a cutting from that one cutting to like plant in the same pot to have two and uh, one of the two has started to grow this is the new leaf and I think it's so beautiful every day I'm checking on it to see how different it looks day by day and it's just such a joy to watch I don't know if I have bleached out the plant a little bit, but I'm keeping it a little bit away, further away from the light now to, to see if the leaves will be like less kind of yellowy color, but I don't know if, if that's how it's supposed to look. I should probably check. But yeah, super gorgeous. There you go, that's that one. Um, I actually have another Hoya here on the table. I might as well just show you guys. So this is the Hoya 
I took a cutting from my stepmom's house. Um, actually, her Hoya Carnosa was the original Hoya that got me into loving Hoyas. And so like she gave me a cutting and it's grown out. Um, I had the cutting for like a long time. It didn't grow and then one summer it just kind of exploded and now it's like a plant. But I think because of my condition, it's just not, I don't have as much natural light. She has a sunroom and her Hoyas grows like so beautifully in the sunroom and the leaves are just so big. So anyways, when I went to her house um, to see my dad the other day, uh, I was like, can I take a cutting again? Uh, I just love the way hers look. So this is just like a regular carnosa. I'm keeping it in a Ziploc bag. I haven't, with a little bit of water, I haven't um, um, potted it yet because I'm kind of like thinking I want to build a moss like wall in the grow tent and I kind of want to try to propagate this guy just like on the moss wall. Yeah, I have gotten a red oak plank of wood to do it. If you guys think it's a terrible idea to use that wood, please let me know. And hopefully it's not too late by then. <laughs> Sometimes when I like get my mind on to like, I want to do something, a project, I just kind of start doing it right away. Um, anyway, so this is the cutting that I took from her. Look at this carnosa. Isn't it just like, absolutely like epically beautiful because the light is shining on it it looks even more beautiful i think like in person oh my god so pretty yeah she was so generous too she's just like yeah i caught it she wanted to give me like a whole pot of like carnosa because she has multiple growing in her sunroom but then I was like I already have a pot that you, like that I grew out from the cutting that you gave me I just I just want like I just want these guys because these leaves are so stunning and she's just like yeah take them no problemo so beautiful there you go guys and um yeah if I end up just like working on that mo like moss wall project of course you guys will know and I'll show you the process. I'm probably gonna make a huge mess. Um, but I have decided that to, to like remove the shelves, shelves from inside my Mars Hydro Grow Tent and grow everything like vertical. I feel like on the shelf, like the second shelf and the third shelf, they don't get as much light. So I am moving my grow light like higher to the top of the grow tent and then try to like line the walls with like grids and grow everything like on the grid on the side of the sides of the uh, grow tent. So I will show you guys the process, of course. I'm actually feeling like super tired because we went to like a Chinese supermarket this morning and it was already quite busy, but it was such a lovely supermarket. I love it. I'm going to go back. It's got lots of organic food. It's called Sun Given. And it's got just like so much organic food, but like also like lots of, you know, Chinese food that I got to bring home. So I really like that. And then we went to Costco the week of Christmas. I just like, it's one of the most stressful experiences in my life like going to Costco it's just so busy there's so many people and you're trying to like navigate between cards yeah I just I, I found it super overwhelming I was going to film this morning but my dad invited invited us to go to Costco with him and I like doing that as a family and also like he helps out with like paying for our groceries so so we went but it was just like it took so much out of me but still I'm filming now and then I'm gonna edit. So then I'll have it for a blow for tomorrow morning for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I feel like I'm just rambling so much. And again, Merry Christmas, happy holidays to you guys. Thank you guys so much for all your support this year. Um, I'm probably, I am definitely going to try to upload again on Sunday, but if I don't see you, you know, so I'm wishing you Merry Christmas and happy holidays today here. All right, guys, take good care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.